Of all the weight limitations on an airplane, the least self-explanatory is the maximum zero fuel weight. The way I like to think of it conceptually is in terms of my pickup truck. I have a gross vehicle weight rating, which covers the truck itself, the occupants, the stuff on the roof, the snowplow, the load, everything. I have a separate weight limitation for how much stuff I can put in the bed, based on the chassis and suspension. So what does that have to do with an airplane? The maximum zero fuel weight is the heaviest the airplane is allowed to be, assuming there's no fuel in the tanks. Now, that's not a realistic flight condition, so the zero fuel part is a bit academic. But what the maximum zero fuel weight does is establishes a structural limitation for how much concentrated weight the wing root structure can carry. In practice, what it means is, once you add baggage and passengers to the fuselage until you reach maximum zero fuel weight, then you can add mission fuel until you reach the maximum takeoff weight. Takeoff and landing weights are all about how heavy the airplane is full stop. The maximum zero fuel weight is all about how it's distributed. <laughs>